Neil Fashionbauer Cooper. And I'm Brian Belmont. And we're the authors of Whatever Happened to Pudding Pops. It's kind of a pop culture encyclopedia of the 70s and 80s. And one of the things we focus on is foods that we loved and maybe we lost. They might have come off the shelf and, and been revised, or maybe they went away for good, or maybe they were always still around. So here's one of my favorites, Pepsi Light. You probably remember the jingle, the time is right for Pepsi Light, lemony Pepsi Light. They put a little lemony taste in and took out half the calories, which when you look back, maybe not that smart. People today are used to one calorie and zero calorie pops. This was like a 50 calorie pop. Mm -hmm. and I don't a lot think of that people, was that smart. <laughs> a lot of people have kind of a very distinct memory of the lemon E flavor, right? It, uh, it's been referred to a lot as pledge tasting. Yeah, it wasn't that great. And then they realized they had to take out more calories, so they went to a one calorie, but this pop still didn't survive the 80s. So they are, there's different, Pepsi has a lemon pop, but it's mm -hmm. not the same. I still miss this. Here's the old can with the pull tab. Pretty cool. So that's one of our favorite. This is another one that is just now back. This is the uh, limited edition retro bag of uh, original taco flavored Doritos. And original Taco Doritos was, I think, the second flavored Doritos ever made behind like plain corn, which was kind of like they were just learning the machinery and they just popped out some chips and then they learned, hey, we can put flavors on these. So they made a taco flavor and it was hugely popular, but somehow just didn't last. They took it off and people were all over the internet recently looking for it, begging for it to come back. And it did. It did. This is actually one of the more popular uh, discussions on our blog, whatever happened to puddingpops.com. Uh, people really, really missed this flavor. And it doesn't sound like uh, Doritos nailed it exactly, right? No. From people's memories. And you know, are your memories from 1975 or whatever going to really, you're going to have that exact taste memory. Maybe it's different. Maybe it's not. Maybe they didn't have quite the same spices, you know, or machinery mm. anymore. But I do like the retro bag. I like the little... Uh, sombrero or whatever that is supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know what that is supposed to be. Oh, unfortunately, they changed this and they went to their more, you know, uh, 90s to 1000s packaging that's all glittery and, and looks like tinfoil. So I missed the old bag. The old bag was only, they used this for about a month this year and then they went to a newer, more glam bag. So mm. we kind of miss it. But if you want to see if this matches your memories, you can go find a bag. Look for the newer bag, but you can find original, it says original taco flavor on it. Yep. So check it out. All right, here's one more little treat from our childhoods. Uh, hopefully you remember these. Um, a gateway candy. These, oh, yeah. Uh, the, the, the biggest change. Candy cigarettes. Right, candy cigarettes. The biggest change uh, from what they used to be and what they are now is nowhere on here do they ever say that these are supposed to be cigarettes no. anymore. And a lot of people believe that it's illegal to sell them, but it's not. I, they, you can find them in, like, you know, your gas station, look on the lower shelves with the candy that doesn't really have a brand name that you recognize. They usually have them. They look amazingly like real packs sometimes. They got the little sticker on the top and it's probably, is there a cancer warning? On no, there? but it's absolutely full of sugar and corn syrup. Yeah. So uh, yeah. it might be just about they as dangerous as the They still have the little the red lit end or is it just clear? They do. Oh yeah, there's a little tiny red lit end, so. Mmm, tobacco -y. Enjoy, smooth. 